Um, did you have a top secret this week? I do. Did you want to do a recap or no? No, we don't have to do a recap. Okay, great. Um, okay, so I do have... I do have some... It's not out yet. Okay. Don't ask. Here it is. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, so the first up is this little breakout board, which I even designed on the Great Search. Um, you're talking about uh, getting uh, these really uh, cute new boost converters from TI. This is the TPS. You can't take this under the fiducial. It's 61023. That's a little boost converter there, and this will give you 5 volt output from about 3.5 volt input. Um, so I made this little mini like a micro power boost. It's like a, like a mini boost um, breakout board. So you just have two to five volts in, five volts out, and then an enable pin. Okay. And then... Oh, I dropped it in my excitement. Um, I'm also experimenting with Phil B on making little Stemma breakouts. So we have, you know, the Stemma QT boards, which are 0.7 inches by one inch and has, you know, the the quick connects on either side, which is lovely. It's a great standard that uh, SparkFun came up with. But I also wanted one for analog and digital simple sensors, um, ones that just had like one pin. Um, and so, you know, we have a couple items. We have like the Stemma speaker that is the same three pin uh, JST 2PH. And we have these on uh, a lot of our boards. It's just power ground and uh, signal. Uh, and we have like a servo that has this connector. It basically just makes it plug and play easy. Um, and uh, you know, this is great for I squared C, and then this is great for analog or digital. So the first board I designed, and this is the same, I was trying to keep the same size, the same one inch by 0.7 inch. I, it's not like, an, it doesn't mean anything. I just happened to like the size. I think it's a good size. Um, so you have the connector, you have a little on LED, so you know it's powered correctly. And then this is just another um, analog temperature sensor. It's actually very similar to the, the TMP36 from ADI, but this is a surface mount version. You also see these cutouts again to make it more reactive to uh, the temperature. And then on the back, we have the instructions. There's a little typo, it should be 100. This is a prototype. And also you can solder to these pads if you want to not use a cask. Okay.